Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. My name is Charles. Today I want to talk about programming memory channels in your ICOM IC7100 using Chirp. The uh, first step that I always follow when using Chirp is I make sure I go to the Chirp website and download the latest version. Uh, that's at chirp.danplanet.com. I just did that earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and open Chirp now. Once it's open, I'll go to radio, download from radio, and then uh, I'll set my parameters here. My uh, radio is on COM5, vendor is ICOM, and the uh, <clears throat> first place that I got stuck at when I went through this was uh, I set the model to IC7100, and uh, I could not get Chirp to talk to the radio. If you leave it set to detect, it'll figure things out on its own, and things, things seem to work better. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. The program's going to look like it's frozen up. It's not frozen up, it's communicating with the radio in the background. It'll start pulling down memory channels uh, here in just a moment. And there we go. So over in the lower right-hand side, you can see it's getting memory channels. I'm going to let that finish. Uh, goes all the way to, I believe, 494. So we'll give it just a second. Perfect. We're idle now. So then I'll go to radio, query data source, repeater book, repeater book proximity query, and I'm going to just say I want to get um, any in-use repeater frequencies within 90 miles of my QTH, which is San Angelo, Texas. That'll pop a new tab, so I'll go to that tab. I'll select everything that's in there. I just did a shift click to do that. Now I'm going to go back and um, hold down control and start clicking the ones that I don't want. So, of course, the 7100 doesn't support uh, 900 megahertz, so we're going to pull those. Uh, it doesn't support P25, doesn't support DMR, so we're going to pull all that stuff out. Just a second here. We'll leave the DV ones because those are supported. Uh, this repeater is offline, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out the 6-meter repeater. <clears throat> the reason for that is if you have 6-meter um, repeaters in your scan list on the 7100 along with 2-meter and 70-centimeter uh, frequencies, then what will happen is um, when it switches to the 6-meter band, you get a relay click. And uh, one, that's loud, and two, I would be concerned about eventually wearing out that uh, mechanical relay. So... I'm just going to take another check here to see if there's uh, anything in here that needs to be pulled out. I don't see anything odd here. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click, select Copy, go back to my IC7100 tab, <clears throat> select the first available frequency, right-click, go to Paste. So now you can see they're in there, and it's writing the data to the radio right now. So with Chirp, uh, on a lot of radios, most radios in fact, it's um, it's the kind of system where you download from the radio, you edit your code plug, and you upload it back to the radio. But on some radios, uh, IC7100 uh, being one of them, um, I also have had the same experience on my uh, Kenwood uh, TM-V71A um, it's a live system, so as soon as you make a change, it gets written. So now we have the uh, frequencies in our radio, and I can actually hit the uh, VM button on my M1 menu, and indeed, I do have those frequencies written into the radio. Now, one thing that you'll run into on Chirp is that now that you've written uh, data into the radio, if you go back to radio and download from radio, you're probably going to get a communications error. Yeah. The uh, access is denied to the COM port. The simple fix for that is to just go ahead and close out Chirp. And now you could go back into Chirp. And I'll go to radio, download from radio. The uh, parameters are already all set. I'll hit OK. I'll give it a few moments to uh, communicate with the radio and start pulling the frequencies down. There should be any time now. There we go and we can see that all the data is there. So that's perfect. All right.
So that is a quick tutorial on how to uh, program memory channels in your IC7100 using Chirp from uh, danplanet.com. I hope that that information is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them below. I'll put a link to uh, Chirp down below as well. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.